Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you purge Sage 50 companies, you can remove inactive customers, vendors, employees, jobs, quotes, invoices, purchases, and other items from the company file. You can only purge the information for years that are closed. This will clear space on your computer by reducing the file size. You can purge your company file at any time. Some good times to purge would be the close of the fiscal year or the payroll tax year. However, since the purge process may take a long time to complete, you should start it at the end of your business day, making sure that you leave your computer running. You should also make sure that all other applications are closed prior to performing the purge. You use the purge wizard to assist you in the process of purging your company file. The wizard simplifies the process by prompting you for all of the necessary information. You must create a backup before purging the company file, and Sage 50 actually recommends that you create two backups, one for the current file and one to store off-site in case of emergencies. The purge wizard helps you facilitate this process by allowing you to create the needed backups. It's also worthwhile to note that this is not the process that you would use to repair corrupt data. That would be restoring your company from a backup file. Sage 50 also recommends that if you have extensive data, you may want to consider purging in sections rather than all at once. This allows for shorter, controlled sessions of purging, which save time and memory resources. To start the purge, select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to the System command, and then choose the Purge Wizard. This will bring up the Purge Wizard window, which shows you the date of the most recently closed fiscal and payroll years. Just as with any other wizard, you will simply click the Back and Next buttons to step through the wizard, answering the questions and responding to the prompts. So click the Next button to continue after you've read the information on the Welcome screen. This will bring up the Backup Company Data screen, and here you can choose to create one or preferably two copies of your company or backup files to have on hand before proceeding. To include your company name in the backup file, simply select the Include Company Name checkbox and then click the Backup button to decide where you want to save your Sage 50 backup file. In the Save Backup As window, you can use the Look and drop down at the top of the window to navigate to the folder where you want to store the file. You can rename the file if desired by using the File Name text box. Sage 50 gives you a default name that includes the name of your company file and the date and you can simply click the Save button once you're ready. Sage 50 will then tell you the size of the backup file if you're saving it to the computer or the number of diskettes that you'll need if you're using diskettes. Then simply click the OK button. The backup will then occur. If you're saving to diskettes, the program will prompt you as to when you should switch disks. Keep them labeled and in sequential order and don't interrupt the backup process as this may corrupt the data. Then click the Next button to continue after you've made the backups. This will take you to the Old Transaction screen, and here you select the transactions that you want to purge. First enter the date on or before which to purge transactions into the Date field. In the Transactions group box, select the transactions that you then want to purge from the company file. You can delete receivables such as quotes, invoices, and receipts payables such as POs in Sage 50 Accounting and Complete Accounting and other purchases and payments, payroll such as payroll transactions, general journals and their entries, audit trails, used tickets which are time and expense tickets used in payroll and sales in Sage 50 Complete and Hire, and unused tickets which are unused time and expense tickets. Also if you make this selection enter a date on or before which such tickets can be purged. When you're finished, simply click the Next button to continue. This will then bring up the Account Reconciliation screen, and this lets you select whether you want to do account reconciliation or not. If you do, decide which accounts you need to reconcile before the purge. You can then select the Yes option to reconcile, or select the No option to skip the reconciliation. If you select Yes, then you must choose the accounts that you wish to reconcile prior to purging. For each account category shown below in the Select Accounts list, such as Cash, double-click the black arrow 
to display a drop-down list of individual accounts. Any accounts that haven't been reconciled in the past will be marked by default. Select the checkbox to place a red check next to any other accounts that you want to reconcile. If an account is selected here, any transactions within the account that have not been reconciled regardless of date will not be purged. Once you've made your selections, simply click the Next button to continue. Once you've finished any possible account reconciliation that may then occur, you'll be presented with the Inactive Maintenance Records screen. This lets you decide the types of inactive maintenance records to purge. You can only purge inactive records if they are not used in transactions and also have zero balances. Select the checkbox next to the type of inactive records you wish to purge, and when you're ready, click the Next button to continue. This will then bring up the Summary of Options screen, and here you see a summary of the different options that you've set for the purge. If you're satisfied with your selected options, then just click the Begin Purge button to begin the purge. If you're not satisfied, you may click the Back button to return to the previous screens and change any options that you need to. When you click the Begin Purge button, a window appears that lets you know that the Purge Wizard is removing your old company data. You can see the progress in the middle of the window. When the purge is complete, it will announce that the purge is complete within this window. To then see a detailed log, you can click the Log button. To then close the Purge Wizard, simply click the Close button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.